Now, uh, uh, again, without lamenting, these are very, very busy slides. You can go to the American Society of Breast Surgeons uh, resource page. Uh, we came out with uh, guidelines for endocrine therapy as far as the selective use of uh, estrogen receptor modifiers or modulators known as CERMs, uh, aromatase inhibitors, uh, are obviously of important uh, in the overall in treatment uh, of, of breast cancer patients in general, uh, whether it's tam tamoxifen and premenopausal patients or aromatase inhibitors in postmenopausal patients. And then here are the guidelines for uh, uh, neoadjuvant endocrine therapy in uh, premenopausal patients and endocrine therapy in the, uh, in, the, in the elderly. Again, these are available to you through the American Society of Breast Surgeons webpage. Uh, CMS, in the United States, CMS uh, is the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Uh, they came up with all sorts of uh, guidelines as far as tier one, tier two, tier three. Uh, uh, and uh, these are available at their website. Guidelines like this uh, now are, we're pretty much through the acute phase of this uh, pandemic in the United States so that Physicians offices are open now, outpatient clinical clinics are operational. Uh, we are using social distancing, wearing masks, hand care, et cetera, in those settings. But early on, uh, when we were at the height of the pandemic, these guidelines, which are available at the CMS website, may be useful to you around the world as to how you're going to uh, prioritize uh, care in your local uh, countries and jurisdictions. Also, we had our American Society of Plastic Surgeons come out with a statement about breast reconstruction in the face of the COVID pandemic. Again, a lot of these guidelines came out last year. Uh, this committee put this out in March of 2020, right in the teeth of the uh, pandemic. Uh, today, we're now uh, beyond this and back to doing reconstruction surgery. But again, through the their website, uh, these guidelines are available that may have applicability to those countries and locations around the world that are still dealing with the height of, uh, of the uh, uh, pandemic. Uh, needless to say, uh, things were delayed and particularly if mastectomies were done, you know, reconstruction was done on a delayed basis.